Right, so, um, I don't know if you can see, I use the VTOL Pro Pack. <sighs> Obviously, kitted all out. Um, I'll use that one. Right, what I'm going to do is take the um, light sensor back off and that'll isolate the power to that light. Uh, I know it's not correct way of isolation. Uh, but what I can do is take that off. Now I know it's isolated. Uh, right, back again. Put that in my pocket. In my steps. This is real life camera action. Right. Well, like I said, I do know that these these two come on together. Well, let's go up here. <coughs> All right, I've took the cover off. Um, no, I'm just verifying what it actually is. It's an ES screw and clap which is screw fix so um, I need to get one of these I'm gonna, you know, I'll check that out for now no I'll put it back in uh, so the reason I'm going to put it back in is because obviously this needs cleaning be on the ladder right. I recommend it any spark you get one of these um, it's a, a decorator's uh, brush so I can get a bit more focus on the camera. To decorate this brush, I'll just get all these cobwebs out and just give it a good clean for them. It just needs a good service. Okay, so that's just cosmetic. What I'll do is I'll give that a bit of a clean. So now I need to get some more lights. I'll be two ticks. Alright. Hey, I thought you were just going up to me, back. <laughs> uh, I'm here for a while. I ain't got the bitter I need. Ooh. That's a bit Is it? Yeah. It's a bit of shorts, huh? <laughs> it's a neck. I can't believe anybody uh, wants to wear shorts in this weather and short sleeves. <laughs> I'm tuned to it. I can't believe somebody's in shorts and a t shirt. Anyway. Right. Let's just clean the top off. Makes it look a bit better. Uh, don't know if you can see there. Uh, right, so I'll give it a good cleaning. Uh, right, and that's me done for this. Right, I've bought uh, a pack of five lamps just to get them all the same colour rendering. Right, put that one in. 
clean that up as best as it can be clean under the circumstances. It's difficult with two, do with just one hand. Robinson effect, but uh, that one's back on. It, it is clean. I've rubbed it down with some um, wipes in soil. Now I'm going to get to that one. Do exactly the same with this one. Take it out. Oop. Nearly. That's when you're molding the camera at the same time. Oh, good job, I've got good reflexes here. Oop. Right, so need to clean that out inside. reason this one's not as bad as that one the other one uh. Uh. Right, I'm gonna change out that light I mean it's been in a few years huh? I've got to say I did change these not so long back uh, right Okay, that's on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera up facing. Yeah, that's a good view. Um, I'm going to link out the light sensor and just check my two comes off. Yes, folks, uh, don't stand on the ladders. I'm 
just going to check neutral to earth on this at the moment because it is isolated. Uh, the new fittings are class one. This is definitely a class two fitting that's going on. Uh, oh, yeah, it's plastic. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got a functional way up on it. Right. Obviously, just been down here anyway. Um, right, so I've ascertained pulling the cable back that uh, make it sit up there. Uh, it's a flex. Comes all the way across here. It's draped over the top of there, so it ain't been secured. Um, a lot of cobwebs. Um, it comes down the back of here, down here, and it is on this thing. Now, I've took the lid off. Okay. Um, I have definitely took the lid off just, and uh, it is isolated. Uh, it's obviously powered from that board, but it's definitely isolated anyway. So, what I'm going to do is, I ain't going to mess about too much, it just needs to be secured. Okay, and it's just on plug top, so just in case anybody is sceptical, I have tested that when I unplug it, it is the feed. So I'm going to re-secure that up there. Uh, it's something I did earlier, a couple of years back. So this here is a PRE switch to the studio, and that takes the internet all the way back, 180 odd metres down a Cat 6, all the way, underground, to the studio, to get them uh, local internet. Anyway, I'm going to put the um, junction box there and secure it. Right, that's secured. Check that, there is a uh, 3 amp fuse in, not a 13, it's a 3 amp. Right, that can be back in there after. Okay, but I'm leaving it out for now. Okay, I might secure that after. Um, put a couple of clips in front. Okay. I do remember this job. This is a steel wire armoured Cat 6. Uh, Save me the money. Right, uh, just to show you that these two lights are still working. That's fine. Up there is the uh, floodlight that I've took down. I'm going to put a whisker box up there and um, I ain't going to actually film me do the whisker box. I'll show you it actually filmed after in situ, open, floodlight up, etc. It's got a fair bit to do. I've got to get off to another job as well. Okay, okay so there's my basic threading kit. I've got the uh, STS as well, but basically it's DeWalt. Um, the reason I'm using the Walt is, yes, it is a bit cheaper. Uh, the other thing is, um, I did have a couple of breakings on the van, which wiped me out completely. Almost uh, sent the company under. The uh, van was uh, destroyed. Uh, insurance wouldn't have given me what I needed for it. Um, and um, all my DeWalt, sorry, all my uh, Mickey Milwaukee stuff went uh, missing. My uh, multi-testers went missing. My multifunctional 
uh, mega testers went missing everything went missing probably about five or six grams worth of stuff so i bought these I don't care what anybody says, there ain't a lot in it between this and Milwaukee. I've got to say that these, the trucks on these, last a lot longer than uh, Milwaukee. And my original set of uh, DeWalt drills um, I had in 2003, I think it was. And they got the nickel, uh, nickel cadmium batteries. Yeah, so the old NICAD and they are still working perfectly right okay you can see my uh, two marks i put up there with the um, chalk dot i can't actually see this i'm going to be doing so i'm just going to mark a couple of indentations and that will start me off I'm just going to put it on hammer now even though it's a uh, positive rate drill it is getting on a bit okay right all right so what i'll do is i'll i'll get this out i'll uh deburr the inside i know it's plastic and you can push them out with the uh, with the glands but i don't want to do that i want to cut it out i want to scrape it clean inside so the gland fits properly uh, i know you can pressure them in that's great I don't want to do that. So I should do this one and then do the solid one and then get it up and do another video of it. Right, let's uh, let's cut to the chase. So, um, I was actually uh, trying to show you how I'm going to put the raw plugs in and everything else like that. But uh, you know, come on, lads. We all know how to do a drill hole and put a raw plug in. So I'm going in the protected side. So there's no ingress. These are the holes that's made for the screws, not these, but the back. Uh, you've got to maintain the integrity of the IP rating. And that's the only way you do it, is uh, by using the right holes for the right job. Okay, and... Uh, I'm going to have to change hands. Okay, that's tight now. Right. Okay, so the other thing is, don't tighten these up too much, these screws. Because if you tighten them up, the rubber seal will pull out and ooze out the side there. So just tighten it up enough to keep that uh, water ingress out and the IP rating. Right, I need to put the camera down again now. Right, uh, so I've got the table up, that's tightened up. I've got a couple of uh, 221 Wagos. Um, I always use Wagos, I won't, you won't use uh, chocolate blocks. Uh, so I'm going to connect the light, what, use one of the existing fittings if I can get it there. Uh, sorry, I ain't got a camera off properly. Probably have to drill another hole for the other side of it and then just angle it down. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and get the cable up into here and then we'll get Slice into this lot and then do a test. Right, use a couple of the existing fittings. Um, I'll try and knock the heads off these, but if I can't get into them, I can't get into them. Um, put the cable into the back of this. It's up close, I wanted to be up close. Uh, right, um, pulling the sheath off, I actually nicked the um, the neutral cable so i'll put a bit of heat shrink on it and uh, made it good again so it's proper heat shrink um but the other thing is i don't know if people know this but i don't know if you get this way going 
in focus. Let's have a look. Right, you can see at the top there, it's got a number 11. That refers to the actual length of excess you leave on this. So, obviously, I've deliberately left these long. Uh, so, they all need cutting. Really difficult holding a camera. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna put these into that gland uh, into the gum, into the uh, way it goes, and then we'll do a test on it. Right, secure, secure, IP68, IP68. Well, this is all my rubbish accumulating. Um, so these two lights are off, that's on, that's off. Stand still. Okay, so I'm at the far end of the um, I'm on my last here, look. So basically gonna protect all round here. That's what, sorry. <laughs> right. Uh yeah, so it is picking up, etc. Right. Leads on. Right, um I finished. It, oh, my ears a mess. I don't know, there's a ball patch there. No, is there? Can anybody see a ball patch coming? Anyway, um, yeah, I've finished this job here. Um, I know people are gonna moan about me standing on the very top tread of the steps. Um, needs must, and the other thing is, I am using my my son's car at the moment uh, basically because of necessity um, I've told people before on the channel I had my van broken into that many times within a space of about a month that it's yeah it was a Citroen dispatch it was a great van or oh, fast as well um, but it's the beginning of lockdown couple of people owed me money which I've never got um, and it does add up into you know a few thousand uh, some people have gone bust some people uh, it's just too difficult to get it off them van went um, haywire because of the um, um, amount of braking the damage to the electrics and stuff like that it's caused no end of problems to the uh, electric management system um, it also fuel throw up a few things with the uh, fuel system uh, which I mean my mate had a look at it he was a uh, sorry not electrician a mechanic he had it for a few days um, Citroen had it give me a quote um, and then I was off work almost with an heart attack because of it. No, I won't. Um, no, it's just so costly to get it repaired. Uh, it got COVID and me being owed that money, I couldn't afford to even lease a van, lease a car or whatever. So luckily me, yeah, so I went to university and um, he doesn't use the car. Uh, you know, he's quite happily lent it me for a while. I've looked at, well, looked after it in some ways. Um, it's obviously dirty, but um, we just had to work done on it, got it through the MOT. It's quite quite good at the moment. Um, but it is a pick tip, as you can see. I've got step ladders in here. So, for the folks that are wondering why I was on top of the step ladders, needs must. We've all done it. We will get told off about it, but you know, some people do show it on YouTube. Um, oh, I'll cover it up the camera. Um, oh, you've had to see me do it. Um, I can't help it. I can't get a roof rack on here because my son's going to be having the back, having the car back soon. Um, I'm going to be without transport as such. Uh, I've got a 
see if I can get some money from somewhere. Um, yeah, so I am um, I'm struggling at the moment. Uh, so I've got to try and look for a cheap van. The other thing is, um, a lot of the jobs I do is in Birmingham, and I don't think you can drive anything through Birmingham without a cost now because of the pollution charge. I think it's after you're going to need a van older than 2016 or 17, I'm quite too sure, uh, to get around the pollution thing. Uh, anyway, that's me. That's why I'm up the steps. That's why I can't get any bigger ladders in here. Um, and that's what I have to do at the moment. So if I come off them, that's my problem. Um, but I'm still safe. Anyway. Um, that job's finished, took a bit of time because I'd obviously got to go and get bits and pieces. Anyway, till next time, if you like what I'm doing, just like, press the like button. Um, I know some of it drags on a bit. I, I do try and edit some of the crap out. Uh, if you, and you won't see anything covered up. Um, if I make a mistake, I'll make a mistake and I'll put it on YouTube. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, everybody's still learning. I'm 64, I'm still learning. I've been doing it since uh, electric, since 1980, say, 1980. Um, before that I was, a, I was an engineer, trained as an engineer, served an apprenticeship as an engineer. Anyway, that's me. Uh, we all make mistakes. If you like, uh, like is down here somewhere. If you want to subscribe, the subscribe button's over here. Or, if it's looking backwards, it's over here. I don't know. Um, at the end of the video, it'll be up in the top left-hand corner, which is, to me, is here. But to you, it might be over there. I don't know. Just click on the SFG. Could do with all the um, all the followers I can. Um, anybody wants to send me something to review, I'm open to it. Um, I'll give an honest opinion. I've just bought some more um, Unilight stuff. I should be doing a review on that. Uh, it's nobody sponsoring me at all. Uh, these are purely my own reviews. If it's crap, I'll say it's crap. Um, if it's good, I'll say it's good. Um, yeah, etc. Anyway, TTFN. Got her off her name.